Fake it. Oh, screw both of them. Folks at home, folks at home, welcome back to Hugh C. Fishing. Me and Evan are out on the pond today. We're at Fayette County. Springtime, we were here exactly a year ago today and we whacked them. So hopefully we're gonna repeat that. Just got out here, gonna put the camera in. First, we're gonna try to master the Garmin live scope by fishing some trees with some jerk baits. And then we're gonna go up shallow and see if we can do what we did last year to catch them up shallow on a jig, uh, swim jig, Chatter bait, anything that, they'll bite. anything that they'll bite. They'll bite anything here, so hopefully it'll be a good day. So stay tuned. I think we're gonna catch them. That is a fish. Are you freaking kidding me? I just cast it at that thing. Bunch of baloney. Have you considered your bad? Yes. Think about it literally all day. Fast. Why is it jump? How does it have so much energy? Oh my god, that was death right there. People be like, post spawn? Post spawn? Post spawn? Post spawn? Post spawn? Post spawn? Oh my god, that was actually cool. Now you can't make fun of me for my line when your line sounds like that. This is your line? Oh, that is my line, dang it. <laughs> When he, reel, when he reels his line in too far and he has tiny baby hands and can't get his hand around a fish. Bro, you were literally just struggling with the same thing. Mine was actually jumping. Yours is just sitting there, easy. Oh, there he goes, finally. And he still has two little line out. Yeah, I saw him below me. Dude, that's that literally pulled the freaking rod out of my hand. That's not that's not that big. Looks like she's got a good one. Why well, I also look like I got a good one. I'm putting 
get it back on. Put the jig on. fish oh, screw both of them <laughs> I think I may have been in the way that's all right Gotta snap crap every single fish, folks. Well, stop recording. All right, folks at home, still out here on the water. We just got done fishing shallow. We tried offshore for a little bit. Um, wasn't working out very well for us, so we went back up shallow, caught a couple more on a jerk bait in the timber. And uh, we pushed up even more shallow and cut a couple on a jig. So we're going to keep trying uh, shallow, I think, for a little bit longer and see what we can find. That's about it. The uh, wind kind of died, so it seems like the bite should slow down a little bit. Uh, we found a couple uh, pre-spawn, post-spawn holding spots. Uh, we caught a couple fish off that. We're going to try to graph and see if we can find a little bit more of that since the wind did die. Maybe these fish pulled off a little more um, and aren't as active. Maybe they are holding on this stuff close to the bottom. So it's gonna graph for a little bit, um, but it's definitely slowed down. We're gonna try to hit, I missed some frogfish, so we're gonna try to go back and do that. So stay tuned. I might catch a frogfish right here, might not. And he's and ugly, cut, cut, cut. That was a cool bite. Uh, that frogfish got me thinking um, how these fish, the wind kind of died, it got really hot. It's, I mean, not really hot, but relatively warm. Uh, seen the warmest water I've seen all day. And it made me think that these fish really pulled deeper into the cover like that that frogfish i caught in the back of the reeds under a mat um and then i caught that big one flipping a jig evan caught another good one flipping a jig into these trees when we were catching them suspended so that higher sun no wind uh, made them really tuck into the cover kind of shut them off a little bit i feel like uh and spurts the wind will come and that's when i seem when it seems like i'm getting these bites um, and then I think I'm gonna go, once the sun starts getting a little lower, maybe the wind picks back up, then I'm gonna go shallow again. Into the same areas where I caught them because uh, it's warming up. It seems like these fish are either done spawning and pulling back out or they're starting to spawn and they're pulling up from deep water and onto these staging spots to then go back. So 
or even like I can go fish on those reeds again where I caught that frogfish because more fish might pull up to that to spawn. So uh, definitely seems like the shallow spots will replenish the deeper spots. If I find them, I'll catch them, but it seems pretty slim pickings out here. Um, I hope I'm going to catch more fish if I go back shallow uh, later in the day, uh, closer to sunset. So stay tuned. I, I'm just going to graph for a little bit, and then hopefully you guys will see me catch either some deep or back up shallow. Folks at home, folks at home. End of the day report. Um, Evan left. Wind completely died once Evan left. Went up shallow. I caught one on a frog. Um, caught one flipping. Uh, after Evan left, or about midway through the day, the wind died, and that kind of killed, really killed everything. Um, all in all, not a bad day at all. We caught a pretty good amount of fish, I would say. I don't really remember. Um, not bad ones. I, I mean, I, don't, I can't say for sure, but it was close to 20 pounds what we had for our best five. Um, caught them literally doing everything. I caught one in 30 feet of water today. I caught one in six inches of water from a frog jig to a jerk bait, uh, even a drop shot. Um, we really caught a lot of fish every, doing a bunch of different things. So couldn't really nail down one thing. I would say if the wind kept blowing, then we would have kept doing that jerk bait thing. Then maybe those fish would have pulled up shallow eventually. I don't know, with it being warm, I would caught him, could have caught him on a jig, but um, can't, for, can't say for sure, but definitely a good day. I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you enjoyed it.